All right. What we see here is my latest version of my app, which enables me to chat with multiple PDF files. Here on the left side, I have now a small drop-down menu to select my local vector databases. So with which one I want to chat with. Here in that area, I can drag and drop some new PDF files and create a vector database. So here you see those vector databases I already created and which are shown in the um, drop-down menu. And here in Downloads, I have from the MagPy magazine the latest version and I drag and drop it there and then put in a nice name for the vector database. And when I press the button Process, then the vector database is created. So what we see here, is the name of the uh, new vector database, so MagPy Magazine 132. And here we see now that the um, Instructure Transformer model is loaded with which the vector database is created. Here on the right side, the GPU loaded that model and now the database is already created or finished. And what we see now is that the um, LAMA 2 model with 30 billion parameters get loaded. So that will take some time to process. So in the right window, we see that already 9 gigabyte of video RAM are allocated. And it, I think, will stop at 12, 12 gigabyte roundabout. So I loaded an integer 4 so that it is not not using so much um, video RAM on my on my GPU. And it's the performance and the results are also good or enough for what I'm doing here. All right, so now everything is loaded and let us open the PDF file. And here we see that the universal media player is described in that magazine. So let us ask the chatbot how to create such a media player. So here we'll type in the question and then press enter. And what we see now, the, the application is working. Here in the window we see the um, vector database and the text snippets, text chunks um, it, it found for, for our questions. And then those text chunks are prompted to the um, large language model, which will now create the answer out of that um, yeah, text, text chunk. So here we are. So ooh, a, lot of, a lot of text is created. And yeah, as we see, we have step one to step step six, explaining how to create such a media player, which Raspberry Pi model do we need? We need an operation system, install it on the, on the SD card and so on. All right, so now let us select the various tools catalog. So in that one, in that database, I have um, uploaded Oh yeah, so that's a problem with the streamlit application. So it's always always refreshing, reloading everything. So I have to press once again load database. So in that in that vector database are some some catalogs from Bosch, Makita, Hilti, and so on. So here we okay, it's at the uh, yeah, let us load it once again. So so then we are on the sure sure side that everything is um, set up. And now we can we can ask the model which drill it would recommend um, to buy, um, which is suitable for hobby hobby use to build small um, um, model model cars and maybe boats. So let's see what the the answer will be. All right, so that will take a few seconds on my computer. 
So here we see those text chunks once again from the um, different um, catalogs. And here we have the answer. So it's a DA3010F drill. So now it would be interesting who is the manufacturer. So let us ask that as well. Okay, from which company is the DA3010F um, um, drill? Okay, it should be Makita. So let us search um, for that product name in Google. So what Google is telling you, oh, there's already Makita. And yeah, yeah, it looks quite nice for a hobby usage. 